Hey there, Charlie Wasson, Realtor with the Laffey Hilger Group here. Thanks for joining me talking about why today's Bernie housing market isn't headed for a crash. What I'd like to do is um, share a post from my blog um, talking about some of the statistics that, in my opinion, uh, should show why we're not going to have any sort of crash. Even though, and I thought this was really startling, 67% of America's Americans say a housing crash is imminent in the next three years. Uh, with all the talk in the media lately about the shifts in the housing market, it makes sense why people are freaked out. And that's why I like to do these blogs so I can share this truth with you as to why we're not going to have a housing crash anytime soon. In fact, I believe uh, by May of this year, we're going to be back into regular uh, bidding wars. That's just my call. If interest rates stay low or continue to go down um, into the, uh, let's say, low sixes, high fives, I think we're going to be back into bidding wars, at least uh, in the Bernie area on some properties, because um, we're still seeing it. I'll tell you more about that when we get to the end. But just want to go through some of these statistics to show you. Um, number one, the reason why we're not going to have a big uh, wave of foreclosures or a big drop in prices is because there's no reason for that to happen. If you look at the 2007-2008 crash, you know that was caused by lackadaisical lending standards. If you look at this, what it shows back in uh, June of 2006, uh, basically this line represents how easy or hard it was to get a mortgage. It was very easy back in 2006. If you look now, it's actually more difficult now than it was in 2019 to get a loan. So those are people that have bought recently. Those are people who uh, are well qualified for their homes and uh, they're not going to need to sell them in a fire sale. We believe um, there won't be any effect to uh, home prices by those folks not being able to afford their homes anymore. Looking at this quick chart, foreclosure stats starts uh, past and present. This dotted line shows where we are today. If you look at that historically, we are very low on foreclosures process starting. And uh, again, so we're not going to see a bunch of foreclosures coming into the market. And I was in real estate back in 08, 09, and even here in San Antonio back then, uh, foreclosures just weren't a huge part of our market um, because our prices always kind of went up slowly. Um, we didn't have those big spikes that you saw in California and Arizona and Florida. So foreclosures were never a big part of our real estate market back then. Looking at this, housing supply is lower than last time. These red uh, bars show how much inventory was on the ground that led to those big price reductions in order to get things sold. But again, this dotted line represents where we are at today. If you go back and look, other than just last year, 2021, 2022, very low inventory, it's supply and demand. If there's not enough houses out there, prices are going to continue to stay high. So I beg you, please, if you are thinking about a home purchase and you've said to yourself, well, I'm going to wait until the market um, gets a little better for me until those prices reduce some. Um, I don't feel it's going to happen. We have gotten some deals on builder products, mind you, um, but we don't know what their original margin is on those. So I guarantee you we're not selling them at a price where they're taking a loss. They're just not making as much. Um, so if you are thinking about a home, possibly new construction, we'd love to help you and share some of the information that we have from the builders in town and how much flexibility they have on their published prices. Um, but as far as homes on the market, on the resale side go, um, I showed a home in Spring Branch over the weekend that went into multiple offers. It was a beautiful home, great condition, priced right, big shop in the back. And then I got the notice, hey, multiple offers received on that. Did not surprise me one bit. I highly suspected it. We were shoulder to shoulder with the next uh, family coming to look at it. Um, there was a house on Fair Oaks Parkway and Fair Oaks Ranch, uh, went on the market late last week. Announcement came out this weekend that they got a contract on that. Um, we've seen this happen over and over um, over the last 90 days where homes that are rare because they are offering something that doesn't exist very long, like a big shop or a big lot, or it's a big one story, um, you know, with no neighbors, 
there's always something unique about uh, many homes. So if it's one that hits a lot of buyers, hot buttons, and it's in good shape, and it's priced right, it's selling quickly. And that's continuing to happen. If you're seeing homes on the market because you're browsing our website or Zillow or Realtor.com, you're like, oh, this one's been on the market 120 days. I bet that's a sign that the market is really falling apart. It's just a sign that that particular seller has their home mispriced. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions about that, um, reach out to me. I'd love to be your resource for homes uh, and home information in the Burning Fair Oaks Ranch, San Antonio, Holotus, New Braunfels, Shirt, Cibolo. We'll help you uh, wherever it is that you want to be helped. Thanks for your time.